So hi Lidka Makowska, I'm very happy to welcome you at the European Solidarity Center in Gdansk. I let you briefly introduce yourself and the organization that you're representing today. Thank you very much for the invitation. I am Lidka Makowska, based here in Gdansk, and I am from the organization which is called in Polish Trumiejska Akcja Kobieca, which means women's action in Gdansk region. So we are not only in Gdańsk, the city, but in the whole region. We act since 19 years now as a kind of a feminist movement uh, with the goal being intersection, intersectional feminist. That's um, a very good point and I also want to, to jump on that because when we talk about intersectional feminism, it means different things for different people, right? And so we don't always have the same understanding of what intersectional fights and so intersectional social justice means. So I would like to, to know for you, what is intersectional feminism? I must say for me, it's everything. I know that, you know, for, for many, they might think, okay, it's too much. Everybody should stick on one priority. Then it is house and mixed everything. And, but, uh, because we have, I have all personally my experience of 20 years of activism. I really see that the intersectional feminism is including all the groups you have mentioned. And it is possible because in all of those groups are women. And uh, women, they are, for example, like uh, in the social class, like in the, uh, in the uh, questions of poverty. Uh, in the questions of disabled people or racism. For me, everything is under this theme intersexual feminism. And it is also, it is also about, for example, the climate change, because we as women, as those who take care, are also take care about climate change, because it is for our children and grandchildren. So therefore, I think I have the right to say Climate change is also the problem of feminism. Thank you so much. Um, one last question. I'm really curious on your, your point on that. So uh, we know now a bit more about the current struggles uh, that women face, uh, including also uh, young women and the upcoming generation of young feminists also uh, in, in Poland and specifically also in the region of Gdansk. 2023 is a very important year because there's going to be uh, the elections at the end of the year in Poland uh, for um, the parliament. Today, what do you think are the main asks that feminist movements should have and that the elections campaigns should focus on to improve women's rights in the next um, 2023 Polish elections? Mm -hmm. I think in, they are specifically in Poland and then uh, next year in the European Union. In Poland now, they are things connected to the war because we are really on the border to the Ukraine and we really feel a fear uh, for uh, Vladimir Putin, me personally, of course. And I think that we have also problems in Poland that have not been mentioned or really not really uh, dealing uh, seriously like poverty. Like for example, lack of uh, flats for young people, uh, lack of kindergartens for children, then women, young women can uh, have children and come back and come back to the work and having really a good and cheap care of their children. It is not possible still in Poland it's very expensive to have children now in Poland, very expensive. So, so we have now the rate of uh, children born in Poland less than 50 years ago, for example. Thank you so much. Is there any last word that you want to give us? I would like to say that uh, this is, you have mentioned very important thing about young women. I think that for them, it's not only to uh, specify topics and problems to be solved uh, in the election and in the elections, but also the real thing, I mean, politicians, 
men politicians, they should really make the place for young women uh, to candidate and being on the top positions. Because of course we have a parity in Poland in the elections, but there is a man, man, one woman, man, man, and then three women, young women, and they have no chance to be elected. So the real problem is how to make this that the young women will be on the pos on the top positions of the land. Yeah. Representation matters exactly. and women exactly. need to be fully at the table exactly. uh, to fight for women's rights. Exactly. Yes. 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 Yeah, women. Thank you so much, Litka, uh, for this interview. You, and uh, we see each other in the assembly right exactly. now. Thank you.